Hey guys, and welcome to Live Russian Battles. Today we will look at long or full adjectives versus short ones. Short adjectives is a form of long adjectives, but when are they used? We'll look into it right now. Let's get started. So, long adjectives uh, express permanent condition of something. For example, это короткая юбка. This is a short skirt. Uh, most of the people would agree with this. Yeah? Compare with эта юбка мне коротка. This skirt is short for me. This skirt is short to me. Like um, in my opinion. Because short adjectives express restricted condition. Restricted for example, by a person. Yeah, for a certain person this skirt would seem short, but maybe for others it would seem okay. Yeah, let's continue. Sasha молодой парень. Sasha is a young guy. Sasha is a young man. Again, it's a general statement. Uh, this guy must be young, yeah, no, not old. Compare with Sasha слишком молод для свадьбы. Sasha is too young for the wedding. Restricted condition, the wedding. So maybe in general he is not so young, yeah? But for a wedding he is young. Look at how short forms are created. Uh, for feminine, we usually remove the last letter ya. So, короткая becomes коротка. And for masculine, in general, we remove last two uh, letters. Молодой becomes молод. Молод. Uh, also notice that the stress will change. Молодой, of course, in the end. And молод on the first syllable. So, let's continue. У меня спокойный ребенок. I have a calm child. He's generally calm, yeah, let's say. Compare with Почему ты так спокоен? Why are you calm like this? Why are you this calm? Uh, this restricted condition uh, is about the situation. For example, maybe the situation um, is like this, that a person shouldn't be calm, yeah? That's why another person is interested. Why are you calm like this? Like, it's not to be this way, yeah? In this kind of situation, we imagine, yeah? In this case, um, you see that спокойный becomes спокоен, yeah? Instead of спокоен. It's just because it's very difficult to pronounce. Spokoyen. Very difficult. So, spokoyen. Spokoyen. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Сегодня хорошая погода. Today the weather is good. General statement, general condition. Compare with погода так хороша. The weather is so good. Yeah, this restricted condition is like a moment, at this moment, momentary sentiment, I would say. So, you can see that short adjectives express more of a sentiment, yeah? That's why you can hear phrases like Она так красива! She is so beautiful! We use this short красива instead of красивая because we want to express our sentiment, okay? Let's continue. Это маленькая квартира. This is a small apartment. General statement. Uh, this apartment has to be really small. Yeah, everyone would agree with this. Compare with Эта квартира мала для нас. This apartment is too small for us. We use a short form because there is a restricted condition for us. It's small just for our family, but it wouldn't be small for some other family, okay? And here I underlined uh, the exception. Маленькая uh, becomes мала. 
when it gets its short form. Маленькая, мала. Memorize it with the stress. Let's continue. Это добрые люди. Uh, these are kind people. So more likely everyone would agree with this. Compare with эти люди добры к нам. These people are kind to us. Again, we use a short form because it's restricted by the condition to us. Yeah, they were kind to us. We want to underline their kindness in a certain situation. Yeah, that's why it's restricted. And um, the last example is Эта сумка очень дорогая. This bag is really expensive. Compare with Эта сумка мне очень дорога. This bag is really precious to me. In this case, дорога would mean precious. It's again restricted condition. It's precious to me. Maybe for someone else, this piece of leather would be nothing. It would mean nothing. Yeah? But for me, it's very precious. Дорога. I wanted to pay your attention that short adjectives always go after a noun. Yeah? Юбка коротка. Саша молод. Погода хороша. But full adjectives can be placed before or after nouns. For example, эта юбка короткая, or это короткая юбка. Or у меня спокойный ребенок can be exchanged with мой ребенок спокойный. Yeah? You see that uh, adjectives here go before the noun. It's possible or after. Uh, and I prepared for you one more exception. Большой will become uh, in its short form велик. For example, этот пиджак мне велик. This jacket is uh, too big for me. Yeah. Uh, feminine would be велика and masculine would be oh, no no. <laughs> Neuter would be велико. For example, это платье мне велико and Plural would be велики. Эти джинсы мне велики. These jeans uh, are too big to me or for me. Uh, and also I prepared for you a little homework where you have to choose long or short form. Yeah, I can't say there are four sentences. I can't say that there are two and two. We don't know. So try to do it. Try to check yourself. I will read them for you. Костя не выйдет гулять, потому что он больной or болен. Солнце тебе полезное или полезно? Mm -hmm. Брокколи – полезная еда. Or брокколи – полезна еда. And the last one. Овощи полезные для спортсменов. Or овощи полезны для спортсменов. So, you may try to do this exercise and we'll meet each other in live Russian battles. See you!